In Kramtorsk, eastern Ukraine, a recent Russian guided bomb attack has tragically left at least two people dead and 19 others injured, according to regional governor Vadim Filashin. Meanwhile, Russia claims to have captured the villages of Hostre and Hyshikova near Volhedar, a significant Ukrainian stronghold. However, Ukrainian forces are still contesting the town itself. In other news, the Ukrainian military successfully shot down 28 of 32 Russian drones during an overnight assault. While some missiles targeted the southern region of Odessa, there were no reported casualties. Speaking at the UNGA, President Zelensky urged world leaders to stand with Ukraine and support real, just peace. He called out countries like China and Brazil for what he deemed half-hearted settlement proposals. Over in the US, President Joe Biden announced new initiatives to support Ukraine with a meeting with Zelensky scheduled for later today. Former President Donald Trump weighed in, suggesting Ukraine should have made concessions to Putin rather than going to war, arguing that even a bad deal would be preferable. In military development, Secretary of State and Anthony Blinken received $375 million in new military aid for Ukraine, which includes rocket launchers and missiles. There are also reports that a Russian arms company is working on developing long-range drones in China.